Greetings all my beautiful lovely cubs. Welcome and welcome back again. It's time to step into the lion's den. Today I'm going to be doing a reading on the next biggest scandal to happen in K-pop. I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about this. So this is all going to be very much freestyled. I have a mask on that's why I sound muffled. I actually am wearing it because the temperature is dropping and I'm a little bit chilly and I don't know why the mask kind of helps keep me warm. So either way, um, we're going to go get into it. I'm going to see what I can pull for the next biggest K-pop scandals. Okay, cards are already popping out. Big uh, K-pop scandals to happen, um, I don't know, for the rest, towards the end of this year or next year. I'm not sure. Just the next biggest ones. Let's see what we get. Okay. So immediately what I'm getting is I'm definitely seeing people who are, who are um, I'm seeing a lot of people and girls too having mental breakdowns, um, anxiety issues of like, you know, let me see if I can rearrange this camera. Anxiety issues with, you know, um, almost like Jung Yun and having to take breaks. Let me take this mask off too. Like more of that. So they're going to be idols who are still dealing with a lot of depression and um, anxiety and mental health issues. Um, you're going to be hearing a lot more of mental health in K-pop. Um, they're going to be um, a few more scandals with, and they're not going to be proven. Like they're going to be a few more scandals of people actually really lying um, about uh, other idols. It's interesting because I'm also seeing like a mixture of half and half. It's going to be so many scandals coming up with people that everyone's going to be very confused. Half of these scandals will be true. Half of these scandals will not be true. Um, and it's going to leave fans in a state where they really, it's like really like you can't believe anything or anyone. It's going to be very hard. It's going to start becoming very hard to take the sides of victims because there are going to be so many people who are destroying the testimonies of real victims and real witnesses to real crimes. And so in the middle of like all of these scandals, like like I said, there are going to be some that are true, some that are not, some that have proof, some that don't have proof. And a lot of them are going to be a bunch of fans who are taking real issues and deciding to either piggyback off of them and lie just to gain attention or just to prove a point. Like, well, you can't believe anyone. See, I made this whole lie up. Dang near ruined this idol's career. And it was untrue. See, maybe next time you shouldn't, you shouldn't listen to the victims. So it's going to be a whole bunch of that. Like, just basically... um destroying the integrity of people who are actually going through things okay fans like i said fans are just not going to know who to believe we do have contracts ending for some idols we do have contracts ending for some idols some of them are going to be like situations where like people are like oh we knew this was coming oh we told yeah we knew this was coming this also makes me think of contract like an actual contract paper um but yeah, it's like some of some of these people who do leave, um, they're, yeah, I'm seeing leaving, walking away. It's like some people are going to be like, well, we knew you were going to leave. It's about time. It's about time you left. We knew this was going to happen. Um, some of them are like, no, this is a part of my plan leaving. Yeah, this is a part of my plan uh, to leave. Rest and rejuvenation come here. So it's like people going on break. Uh, so it's just like, yeah, no, I wanted to leave. I'm tired. I'm over it. You know, there. Th that's what we're going to see. So it's scandals, people leaving their groups. Um, let me see <sighs> what else I can find. What else is going on, going to happen? What other scandals do we have? Okay, some woman. Okay. We're having there's this is this is a um, this is a scandal with a, a a a lady and like some toxic man. This is interesting. This I don't know if this is a 
I don't know if this is like a female like who's maybe not an idol who's going to be having this relationship that's purely lust with an actual idol. Yeah, door to room. Okay, door to romance. Sacred. Yeah, this is like a lust sort of thing. Like there's somebody who's going to be, and I'm hearing actor. It could be an actor. And it's probably because of this sort of theatrics of this card too. So there could be an actor. Um, I don't know if this is someone who works with or around like I don't know if this is an actor and an idol or if this is like some, like you know like a stylist Nuna or like who this person is like someone who's on the sets of things but not necessarily a celebrity um who this person is with mm. I'm a, I, there's definitely this dating thing or like, they had a relationship, but they're not actually dating. Um, just know that there is going to be some dating um, scandals coming up. But this man, uh, whether he's an actor or, or actor or an idol, I feel like this person is more leaning towards acting, but I could be wrong. This person is actually, like, aggressive, like, violent, like somebody who's um, potentially abusive. Um, and so I think that this person is going to say something about them. Like, oh yeah, no, I've had a relation, a relationship with them. It's similar to the Chan Yo thing, but I think this one is actually going to be true. This is like, yeah, um, I've had physical relations with this person and this person is like really violent and really aggressive. Um, and I feel like this person is going to get some sort of karma to them. The male, they're going to get some karma to them. And this person who has suffered at their hands is going to sort of bloom um, a lot more. So I'm not sure exactly who this is or how this is going to go about. But I feel, I just feel like it's possibly an actor um, or at least someone who has acted before. It could, like, it could be wrong. I could be wrong. It could just be an idol. Um... But I don't feel like the female is an idol. I don't feel like she's an idol. She could be, but I don't feel like she is. Um, there's this other man down here, and I'm not sure what... Like, maybe this person is someone who gets around with idols. Like, maybe, you know, she... Or, or gets around with business people. I'm not exactly sure, but there's somebody else who is involved here. And I, I don't know what their point is in this. But, um... This could be someone else on the backhand who this person, this woman is familiar with, and they may go broke because they're paying her off to not tell that, tell their, um, their information. Yeah, a lot of stuff is going to be coming to light this, this year. Like, a lot of stuff, especially in, in romance and relationships, there's going to be a lot of outing of romantic relationships or, like, sensual um, relationships, people are, people's business is, nobody's business is safe. Yeah, nobody's business is safe. Even as you see her holding the book, but it's in reverse, nobody's business is safe. Mm. And it's going to spiral a lot of people doing and saying so many petty things um, just to, just to devalue, as, as value, door to value comes up, just to devalue the word of people who've actually gone through things like and what I feel like there's going to be and I feel so horrible saying this I feel like there's going to end up being a situation where people are like oh like you know what I can't stand people who are victims of something I know that's weird but it's like people are gonna hate people who are victims of uh such of horrible situations they like they don't want to hear it they don't want to hear it I'm seeing like something happens with them in the K-pop market, which is strange because, you know, um, everything seems to be blooming, but there's going to be some sort of setback. And I feel like this is maybe like January, February, some sort of financial setback. I don't know if this is a specific company um, because this is also over here by Thinking Man and um, financial constraints, constraints. I don't know who this is. Um, if there are some sort of powerhouse or not, but there's definitely some sort of setback. I do see woman holding a coin here. 
storm warning. There's, uh, I hope this is not Han So He, um, who's going to be back next year with a vengeance. I'm not sure. Um, but I do see that there's going to be some companies that are really going to have money issues. So you're probably going to see like, oh, um, this company finally declares bankruptcy or this company um, has not been paying their idols. Staff has been complaining. Um, you know, they said that they're going to pay them eventually. You know, you're going to see some sort of stuff where it comes to um, companies not either paying their people or it's just like uh they're they're going bankrupt yeah this woman and man holding a coin um companies run by men <laughs> companies run by men are going to go down financially companies run by these women they may go up financially but scandals may arise like there i know this is you know odd to say but it's just like i hope that helps okay um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. Um, I'm still seeing, like, I don't know if we're going to be back out and, like, concerts running again, but if it does happen, it's, like, it's not, like, if it does happen, it's not going to happen. <laughs> if they do start, it's going to quickly end. Like, they're going to quickly be like, ah, we can't do this. No, no more concerts. Uh, we're, we're just going to be off of concerts um, completely. So I'm not sure if this is a corona. Uh, when I said corona, I saw the corno, uh, cornopia, corno, whatever. Um, if this is going to be another coronavirus thing. Um so I don't know if there will be a concert and then it's just like after that they're like no spikes of viruses or whatever. Um, or this is just letting us know that there's still not going to be any in-person concerts um, coming through. I, I don't think that will definitely, I don't think that will truly affect too much of the fans love for idols or anything like that. And I still see groups growing even without that. And I still see them traveling. So they're still going to be more so overseas concerts, even if they're virtual. Like, they're going to be performing for overseas shows. Like, people um, are still going to be doing that. Uh, and even with Healer of the Ages, interestingly enough, I feel like it's just going to be a time where everyone has to change and adjust to these new situations. It'll work out in the long run. It's fine. Everything is going to work out in the long run when it comes to... I'm um, performing and all of that. Okay. Yeah. Um, there are going to be also a few a few new groups that actually solidify their um, presence in K-pop. There's going to be some ones that are not popular now that are going to be solidifying their their place in K-pop within by next year. Like by next year, like they're solid. Like they're one of the tops. Um, I don't know if girl groups are going to be going downhill next year. I'm not very sure. Okay, it's going to be a balance of girl groups and boy groups by next year. Interestingly enough, I do see more girl groups being listened to, but more boy groups being watched and actually, like, solidifying their place. So it's like... I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you'll probably see, like, people, like, a lot of people are going to know a lot of girl, these girl group songs. Like, oh, yeah, that song is great. But it's like they don't necessarily have that backbone that, um yeah, that, like, connection that freaking the boy groups will have. Um, okay, yeah. It feels like very much sexism. <laughs> it feels like, you know, um, just definitely the boys are going to be, pro like, boys are going to be prospering a lot. It's going to be harder for the girls, but they're still going to be very much successful, like, very much successful. But it's going to be so much harder for them. Yeah, they're still going to be successful. And even with all tied up in the garden gates, they just have their limits. The girl groups are going to have their limits. Like, they're not going to be... I'm able to achieve as easily as the boy groups do. Door to personal health and happiness is kind of closed off, yeah. But adjacent possibilities is still there.
So like I said, it's going to be um it's it's going to be a little different for girl groups, but they're going to get it together eventually. They're going to find their little balance. But that's what I have for K-pop scandals. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was entertaining or fun. Um, we'll see throughout next year, I guess, or this year. I'm not sure what comes true. Um, I wonder if there will be any reuniting of any um, groups. Like, will any groups reunite? I'm not, there's, okay, so, maybe, like, there may be a reuniting of someone who is separated from a group, or like, some weird feature, or comeback, I don't know, it's weird, because I don't feel like it's a full reuniting, I feel like it's like, maybe, if there's a group that's separate, like, at best, maybe you'll see them together, or like, Maybe, um, like, there'll be, oh, you found out this idol was actually on their group member's song or in their group and their old group's track. Like, or you found out this idol actually wrote their, um, old group's, uh, new title track or was, wrote a song on the album. So that's pretty much what I'm seeing. There may be some form of collaboration between an idol, um, uh, who has maybe left their older group uh, in some way, shape, or form. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Again, <laughs> follow me on Patreon, follow me on Twitter and Tumblr. Go ahead and DM me on any of those if you would like to purchase your own personal reading. Um, check out my Patreon um, that also I'm making sort of like it easier for you to just go there click on whatever service you want and I can help you from there um, so that should be a lot easier to get a reading over there on patreon also you can check out um, the ship readings on patreon and exclusive scandal readings there too make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will catch you in the next video bye